beautiful people welcome back to an amazing amazing episode i'm ogechi and this is ogechi reaction um do well to click on the red subscribe button if you haven't if you're a new subscriber do well to subscribe to my channel like this video and turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever i drop a new episode today's video is from nerk news who sonny Houston shot down by guests on the views of her lies Oh my gosh, we are going to be watching the video from The Views. <laughs> Let's get into the video straight up. Um, you got some attention recently for being somewhat critical of President Biden, saying you weren't ready to endorse him yet. What's your hold up there? What's my hold up? Well, first of all, I think everyone should focus on hyper-local. We, we get caught up yeah. in the soap opera of federal elections, and that's fine. But if you are concerned with the federal election, you don't know who your city council or your wardsman is, right. you don't know who your mayor is, and you're not have, you don't have a good list of state representatives or governor. That's rapper Killer Mike on The View talking about why he hasn't supported Biden yet. And you can already tell by the look on Sonny Hostin's face that it's going to ruffle some okay. feathers, which honestly shouldn't come as a surprise. Given her family history, I don't imagine she would take too kindly to black people thinking for themselves. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish. Well, it's a day ending in Y, so that means Sunny Hostin did something stupid and obnoxious on The View. This time, it's berating a rapper for not falling in line with the Democratic Party. Shocker. Today, we're going to take a few minutes to break down this clip and highlight the many, many ways Sunny Hostin is a terrible person. So, I imagine a lot of you don't know who this okay. guy is. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Killer Mike is a very popular rapper. He's also a social activist for the black community. He has a show on PBS called Love and Respect where he talks with people about social issues. He also had a series on Netflix called Trigger Warning where he gave an emotional plea to calm protests against police brutality that were turning violent in Atlanta. Now this guy is in no way a Trump supporter. He supported Bernie in 2016, but he has said some positive things about Republicans who he thinks have helped his community in some way, and that was enough for Sonny Hostin. Here he is talking about the importance of having gratitude and keeping your imagination alive after winning a Grammy for Best Rap Album. And uh, what does Sonny Hostin do? You guessed it. She made it all about herself so she can scold him like a child. And you, your imagination has to be bigger than the room, bigger than the building, bigger than the sky, because if you keep the imagination alive, everything is possible. That's right. When you limit your imagination, nothing becomes as possible right. as, you, as it could be. So. Now, yeah. you know, um, I'm a former prosecutor. Yeah. And there were some other headlines that came out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was very upset about it. Yeah. Because it was unnecessary. Uh -huh. And you don't do that on that special night. Yeah. Especially for what I read about. Yeah. So what I'm going to ask you is, um, there was an incident at the Grammys. Mm -hmm. It led to you being taken out in handcuffs and arrested. I mean, you could just see the contempt radiating from her here. It, it's a bit ironic that she uses his success and moment of Why? achievement to humble brag about Why? herself and then chastise him for ruining that special night by getting arrested. Especially when she argues that black people in America have it worse than Muslims being hauled off to who knows where in China because our justice system just loves incarcerating them for no reason. I mean, I honestly think the hostility she has for this guy comes from the fact that he's been vocally critical of Biden. My most important election is going to be in about a year and a half for who's my mayor going to be. I think that Andre Dickens is doing a great job around housing in Atlanta, and I don't want that to be lost. Even though we have a Republican governor, Brian Kemp, I have a good relationship with him. I like what he's done in terms of Georgia business. We've been leading business amongst all states for the last 10 years, and he brought back the Hope Scholarship and expanded it. In terms of nationally, I'm just kind of doing what my grandfather said, staying out of white folks' business and watching what happens. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm going to see what happens if there's a candidate that pops up around September, October that needs a push that's really in policy wise is good for us going to jump up. But for right now, I just don't want to be involved in the soap opera because I'm much too concerned about what's going on in Atlanta on a hyper local level. That's so well, you, you lost me a little bit with your support of Kemp, but let me let me tell you this. Not support of Kemp. That's, that's, I mean, yeah. it's, and that's some misinformation. I, you cannot like me, but don't lie on me. I saw someone I really <laughs> respect, a black woman who's a commentator. So you don't and support him. And you she like said, his policy. Well, I support some the, specific ones I named. Beyond it, he's the governor of my state, so I have to be involved with him because well, I can't divorce myself. But let me say this. If you criticize someone, don't lie. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to not have dinner with the king on the behalf of my people. Well, I have to do that. Let me just point some of Biden's achievements out for the black community, mm -hmm. right? Well, there you go. I mean, who wouldn't want to join a party that treats you like this? Who wouldn't want to be treated like a child and then scolded the moment you have an independent thought? You know, the way they treat these various grievance groups 
reminds me a lot of how they portray conservatives. They act like we're incapable of comprehending or respecting anyone who doesn't look or think like us, and then this is what they do when they encounter someone who says something remotely positive about someone they don't like. They bully them until they fall in line or they cast them out as radical or useful idiots for their opponents. But let me know what you think. How much longer will the viewers of this show stomach Sonny Hostin? Hmm. Uh, what would you have said if you were in Mike's position? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this has been Nerk News. Boy. Okay, 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 okay. The fact that I do not support your political party does not mean I should disrespect him. Does not mean you should be disrespectful to me, okay? The fact that he doesn't support Biden. You know, she came up and then she was mentioning, oh, you did this, oh, I did this, I did that, and then you were arrested, you know? I mean, it was so unnecessary. Like, what is the correlation? Do you get it? Do you get what I mean? I mean, she was, you know, trying to force him down his throat. And he was very particular and very specific that the fact that I do not support him does not mean I do not like him, does not mean I'm, I'm going to be disrespectful. No one should be disrespectful to me because I do not support your political party, which is supposed to be, which is supposed to be. What do you guys think about this thing? Do you think, what what would they have said if you were in Sonny's position? Yeah, how would you have defended yourself if you were in Sonny's position? I mean, everybody on that table, apart from Sonny, you know, supports a particular political party and because he doesn't support such he doesn't support the same political party. Now the other trying to paint him as oh he's this, he's that and that and that. Anyway, what do you guys think in the comment section? Let me know your thoughts about this video. Let me know your thoughts on the view. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on the view. Let me know what you think about Sonny Houston. Do you think he's going to survive this women? I'll see you in my next episode. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment. I'll see you in my next episode. Bye-bye.